In the autumn of 1988, many burial objects of the Mongolian Khan period were unearthed in Silingol of Inner Mongolia. The most precious among them is a set of gold saddle ornaments. Hammered out of a gold leaf, the ornaments have four petals of crabapple flowers in the center and a deer lying quietly among the peony bush with the rims decorated with floral and grass motifs. The saddle ornaments are named after the motifs and patterns. It is therefore called gold saddle ornaments with the pattern of a deer lying among the peony bush. But who is the owner of the gold saddle ornaments? During the period of Kublai Khan, there was a princess named Ming Yue, or Bright Moon, who was the daughter of the king of Haidu. Her military skills were famous. traveler Marco Polo met with Princess Meng Yue and described her as the princess that wears elegant wrestling attire and defeated all handsome youths who dared to challenge her. The set of gold saddle ornaments were the beloved possessions of Princess Meng Yue. At 17, the princess attended the Nadam Festival as the personal guest of Kublai Khan. Nadam means entertainment in the Mongolian language. It is a grand gathering of the Mongolian people. During the festival, all kinds of competitions and hunting activities were held. At that Nadam, as Princess Min Yue defeated all of her rivals, it caught the attention of Kublai Khan, who presented her with 81 pieces of treasure, including this set of gold saddle ornaments. Gold saddle ornaments used to be the possessions of strongmen with a high social status. Princess Ming Yue accepted the gifts proudly. However, the trophies prepared for the occasion were all made to tailor to strongly built warriors, and they were not suited to the slim Princess Ming Yue. So Kublai Khan ordered to have the set of gold saddle ornaments specially tailored to the slim body of Princess Ming Yue in order to have a deer hammered out of gold leaf to decorate the saddle, which signified auspice and beauty of the princess. Out of his love, Kublai Khan married the princess to the bravest prince of the Wangu region, who was famous for his courage. However, the second year after her marriage, her father came into conflict with Kublai Khan. Just as the two were about to engage in battle, the mounted Princess Ming Yue charged forward in between them, pleading with them to stop. In front of the two armies, Princess Ming Yue touched her beloved horse and the gold saddle, looked up at a flying eagle in the sky, and killed herself then and there. Seeing Princess Ming Yue gone, the King of Haidu and Kublai Khan both were deeply grieved. They stopped the battle and sent the dead princess back to Wangdu, where she was buried together with the gold saddle ornaments. Kublai Khan and the King of Haidu were on good terms for many years thereafter. The gold saddle ornaments with the pattern of deer lying among the peony bush has thus become more legendary and valuable as they were buried together with Princess Ming Yue.